just into Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Well, I've had a few thoughts about Valentine's, and you know I've been bringing in my little tchotchkes uh, every time lately. Um, so I thought I'd give you all in the uh, viewing audience uh, some ideas for um, the Valentine's you might be making this week. And also, it's, it made me start just thinking about love, you know, all together. And uh, I, I, I started thinking about how, or I heard this somewhere, maybe on the radio, and then I just found Martin Luther King's book about love, you know, and it's this idea of uh, to, to have the highest love, you have to uh, really love justice. So here's my first Valentine. This is a Valentine to justice. I thought I love justice. I, I try to, you know, this is my Valentine. Can't Almost a crucifixion, you know, not quite. Can't see quite. very well, though. It's a little, it's I know, a you got, these are small. I mean, there's not on, too much hidden in them there, but you the kind of see what you get. But, you know, look <laughs> around the house, folks, for your broken <laughs> toys and your old wood and your, your tape, you know, and you can put together some stuff. Here's my Valentine to America, which um, it's the good times, it's the Bush times, you know, it's power, it's authority, and it's uh, lots of uh, glittery stuff. We're all going to Badges do well. and watches. Time pieces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the whole world, you know, the whole world really needs uh, something. Um, and, and really, I was overwhelmed by the needs of the world. So this is what the world gets for my Valentine. It's um, uh, you know, food, <laughs> right? But anyway, this is a Valentine for the world. Wonder bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely wonder bread. And but my dogs, they were eyeing me today as I made this. They they you know, they thought it looked pretty good. Really, I had to hide it. Crucified wonder bread. Right, the nail in the middle. It's very crucified. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, this I thought of more as the crown of thorns. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Valentine crown of thorns. But anyway, the last one. Uh, you know, the idea you should love thine enemies. It's in Matthew, and so I thought, okay, I'm going to give a Valentine to my enemies. So here it is, folks. I, I have to kind of show it to you, but. You know, if you have somebody, uh, it's really to all the oppressors in the world. So take a mirror. You, know, you can do, everybody's got one of these, all these ingredients I'm sure you can find in your house. So here's what you can do if you want to give uh, all the oppressors uh, 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 a Valentine. First, take a little whipped cream, make a little heart, okay? And then, uh, ooh, I thought it would break. Anyway, th that's, that's the Valentine for oppression, and uh, there you have it. Little thoughts on uh, love coming up soon. Happy Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, folks. Mm. Coming up in two yeah. weeks. I hope there's no glass in there. Oh, my God. What a thought. What a thought. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Here, I wrecked my little good one, but anyway. Okay, well, you, we can clean that up. You're going to close it down later. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, too. When you use toys to make these Valentines, you guys, it's plastic. Clean it right off. Use it again next year. Close it down in the backyard. Um, okay.